Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are y'all doing this morning? Another beautiful day out there. The Lord truly is good. And he's been giving us fantastic weather down here. And I needed to get outside to take advantage of it. Unfortunately, I'm a little more susceptible to sun than I used to be, but we work with what we got. I just got done watching, and this prayer is going to play into that. Just got done watching uh, on the Christian Broadcasting Network. Uh, testimonies. Uh, it was at a, I forget where they were, Capitol Hill or something like that. They were having a, some kind of conversation or something up there. And these were former homosexuals that were giving their testimonies of how Christ came into their lives and changed them. And they were talking about details on how the conversion happened. And now they lead completely normal heterosexual lives. No side effects, no drawbacks, no nothing. If you truly want the truth and you truly want to change, Christ will change you. But you have to want it. You have to want what he's offering. And these people, every testimony was the same. Something horrible happened. They became this as a defense mechanism. And then all of a sudden Christ entered their lives and said, this isn't who you are. Let me show you who you really are. And they walked into it full, full on and accepted it and became who they really were. And they were happy. And they're reaching out to other homosexuals saying, guys, this isn't you. You did this because of reason A, B, C, or D, or E. This isn't who you are, and there's something better. Guys, that's for all of us. That's not just home for homosexuals. When you're full of pride, when you're full of sin, when you're full of anger, you're full of hatred, when you're full of all these things of the world, and you come to Christ, he'll say, this isn't who you are. Now, some people, this may be who they are, or they so desperately like that, they stay there. But he says, this isn't who you are, let me show you who you are. And then he shows us. And we either accept it or we don't. That's being born again. That's the change. And those people were born again. And it was amazing. And every single one of them, it was because people loved them and showed them the true love of Christ. And that's what broke through that wall and that barrier they had around them, themselves. And this is how we have to be to everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. This is how we have to be to everybody that we run into. We're going to run into people every day. And many of them are full of anger. Many of them are full of hatred. Now, there's nothing that says we have to go out of our way to talk to anybody. But when we are confronted with that type of situation, even with what we have going on here on YouTube, attacking it back isn't the way to deal with it. We have to show them love. No matter where they are in their in their Christian walk, no matter where they are in their non-believer walk, no matter where what they're doing, even if they're evil, we show them love. Because love breaks down walls. Love over overcomes the enemy. Love brings down strongholds. And it's because of love that it, it's happened in our hearts. And our love, us showing that love of Christ, can do it in other people's hearts too. That's so why I say when you're in, engaged in a situation, think about how to answer it properly. I'm horrible about not doing that, and I make mistakes. But when you recognize you made a mistake, you correct that mistake. That's a sign of a Christian. That's a sign of somebody who has the Holy Spirit in them. I made a mistake. I apologize for that mistake. And go on. Um, a great example was what happened between me and Kurt Aaron. Kurt Aaron's a great brother in Christ. Go watch his videos. He's on fire for the Lord. He's now, we have another grace preacher out there. I think that's amazing. But he used that mistake that I made to bring out two brothers, bring them together, and to bring out another grace preacher onto YouTube to preach the gospel. I love how he works. I think that's incredible. In fact, I've got a few of his videos I need to catch up on. So guys, love conquers all, and love is what we need to have. Another thing with love is hope and faith. And we, we read in scripture, these three abide, faith, hope, and love. Love being the most important. 
where you can see hope and faith in the title of this psalm. This is Psalm 16, the hope of the faithful and the Messiah's victory. Let's remember when we're walking through this world and we're dealing with people, who we are. Let's remember who we represent. And let's re try, always try to keep in mind. We can react angrily back in a situation. Sometimes you have to just shut down the, the, the other person's anger. But make sure you put love on the back end of it. Make sure when you break that wall down and you take away their power, that you show them love. It's different for every situation. And it's hard to explain to people who may not, maybe not have been through it. There's sometimes you have to get aggressive. But make sure you show love on the other end of it. Because what these people need is faith and hope. Because right now in this world, they have no hope. They don't realize they don't have any hope, but they have no hope. If you can establish that in them and show them where the light is, they'll run to it like crazy. And it's an amazing thing. Some people are soul winners, and they, they deal with this constantly. Tim Henderson's one of them. Uh, he's always got testimonies of people he's led to Christ. That's awesome. And I pray for the, the, the soul winners because they're winning souls for Christ. I don't think I'm a soul winner. I, I can't remember anybody I've led to Christ. But let love reign. This morning we're going to pray Psalm 16. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to pour your love into our hearts. We get frustrated. We get depressed. We get discouraged. We get tired of the constant, constant being berated and beat on and verbally abused by those who are supposed to be Christians, those who are claiming the name but not walking in that name. And are walking in hatred and walking in anger. And we, we react from a, a flesh standpoint sometimes. We pray that you pour your love into our hearts. That you give us the true word to reach the individual that we're talking to. The words that they need to hear. So that we can engage them and reach them. And break down those strongholds around their heart to get them open to receive you, Lord Jesus that they will see the light, that they will see the truth, that they will gain hope and come to you in faith and receive that free gift of salvation. We don't know who's saved and who isn't saved. We can't see in the hearts, but you can. And you know what it'll take to reach a particular person. Please help us to be able to do that. There are a lot of people on YouTube that are corrupting the word, a lot of people that are twisting it to make it match their desires. We ask you this, this morning to help us reach through that deception and get to the heart of the matter, to the heart of the person, to help them open up to you. And if they can't be reached, they can't be reached, but at least give us what we need to, to try when we're engaged in spiritual battle with them. Father, you've done so much in our lives. You, you bless us every minute. You're doing something for us and help us to give thanks for those things. Help us to praise you and to glorify you and to remember and to have a heart of those things, to make those sac sacrifices that you love, those sacrifices that you enjoy and help us in our daily walk. Help us in our understanding of the word. Give us a revelation every time we're reading the word so that we can be stronger warriors and we can be stronger fighters for faith. Father, this morning I'd like to pray Psalm 16, the hope of the faithful and the Messiah's victory. Preserve me, O God, for in you I put my trust. O my soul, you have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. My goodness is nothing apart from you. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied who hasten after another God, their drink offering of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night seasons. 
I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forever, forevermore. Father, this is where our hope lies. This is where truth lies. This is where grace lies. And we want to be where those things lie. We want to stand in heaven before you. We want to worship you for all eternity. We want to be in your presence and in your light for all eternity. Help us do that. Help us achieve that. Help us lead others to that. It is in the name of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ we pray this morning. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. There is nothing greater, I think, than coming to the realization of just how much God loves you. I think very close to that would be actually sensing his presence near you. And right after that would be leading someone else to that glory and that beautiful love and beautiful light. And we all have different walks. We all have different ministries. We all have different callings. But they all serve the same God. And we're flesh. We're going to get tired. We're going to get discouraged. We're going to get beat down. He knows this. He, he endured these things before we did. Go through, go through your season of being quiet and then get back in the fight. A lot of people are getting discouraged. A lot of people are getting frustrated. They're getting tired of the constantly being berated. I block a lot of people. I um, personally, I shadow ban people. They can't comment anymore. They can still see videos. They just can't comment. And I do that because I no longer want to have the argument. I talk about everything I need to talk about in the video. They can still watch that and get that truth if they so choose. But no matter what, no matter how mad I am at them, no matter how frustrated I am at them, I still love them because I want them to come to the truth and be saved. But it's hard to get in those arguments anymore. And even on the street when I run into people and... and I want them to be saved. I try to give them what it, the Holy, it feels like the Holy Spirit has given me to give to them. To maybe reach them. A message. A, a word. Something that's going to strike a chord with them. And I hope that they change. I hope that I'm having a positive effect in people's lives. This is why I try to put on love as much as I can. The flesh takes over sometimes, but I try to put on love as much as I can. And that's all we can do for each other is just love. In all things. I love you guys. I truly do. I bless you guys in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys in the next video.